There are several ways you can create rubrics in your course. You can create rubrics in advance and then attach them to assignments later. To do this, choose Outcomes in your course navigation menu, then choose to Manage Rubrics. Add a rubric to your course and give the rubric a name. Click the pencil icon to edit criteria descriptions. Add a long description that explains to students what the criteria is about. Give names to your rating categories by choosing the pencil icon and add a rating description. To add more rating categories, click the plus icon. Keep doing so until you have all of the ratings categories that you need. To change the total point values a criteria is worth, change the points in the points column. The ratings groups will automatically update. Click here to add a new criterion. You can choose to create a new criteria from scratch, or you can choose to duplicate one you've already added. Often it's easiest to duplicate one and then edit it. When complete, just choose to create the rubric. You can also choose to add a rubric directly to an assignment. To do this, click the Add Rubric button, and you can create a rubric directly in the assignment, or you can choose to find a rubric you've already created. There are also several rubrics that are at the school account level that you can choose from including the NCSSM rubric for academic writing. Choose to use the rubric. To edit a rubric that you've imported, just choose the pencil icon. This creates a copy of the imported rubric that you can edit. If you choose to use the rubric for grading, be sure to check the checkbox, use this rubric for assignment grading. If the total point value of a rubric is different from that of the assignment, Canvas will warn you. Click Change to change the assignment's point value to match the rubrics. If you prefer to write freeform comments when assessing students instead of using the rating categories, choose this box. This is useful when you wish to leave more detailed comments to describe the point value you've assigned. You can also add rubrics to discussions to do this, choose the Discussion Settings icon, choose Add Rubric, and then add your rubric to the discussion. For this example, I'm going to find a rubric at the NCSSM account level for discussions, and choose to use the rubric. Now I need to edit the rubric so that I can choose to use it for scoring, and I'll choose to update the rubric. Rubrics make grading assignments much easier in SpeedGrader, and rubrics inform students about how they'll be graded on an assignment and what is expected of them.